game one under our belt. That's probably the biggest thing as far as coming out of a game like we played today. Uh, we played a tremendous team. We knew that coming in, and they didn't lead us to believe anything different on the field. Uh, the good news is you learn so much more about your team in a real game versus as you go through the weeks of preseason. So it'll give us certainly a gauge on some things that, number one, we did well when we go back and watch the tape, things that we need to improve on when we go back and watch the tape, and then the next focus will certainly be on the next home game, first game of the season for us next week. Questions? Uh, can you talk about the strategy to limit passing attempts? Uh, was it to keep the ball out of Clemson's offensive hands? You know, ball control was certainly a uh, thought going into the game. You know, you got a dynamic, explosive offense on the other side, and we wanted to utilize the clock as much as we could in our favor today. Uh, what's the biggest positive that you think you could take away from today, you know, maybe leading into the next game? You know, a lot of that is what we see on the tape. You know, we had some thoughts coming in that we're looking to see that our kids do the fundamentals well. Coach talks about pad level, finishing plays. Our head coach reminds our kids constantly to play with competitive toughness, you know, and from that standpoint, if we could just control the things that are in our control, you know, it gives us a chance to at least focus on the moment and move forward. Was, uh, you talked about utilizing ball control. Was there ever a thought, was that kind of why the offense was a little bit vanilla and why you didn't attempt to pass it anymore? You just were, didn't want to do it because you didn't want to tip off to anybody in the future or was it because you just wanted to kind of make sure this game was as short as possible? No, you said a lot in a short amount of time there. So probably a little bit of all of that, okay. just so you know. Okay, a little bit of all of that. That's very well said. I like how you said it. Uh, there were a lot of delayed games and false starts at the beginning. Do you think that was because of the environment? You know, I think a couple of those issues were maybe us looking at a silent cadence at times until the guys got comfortable to know that, hey, get back on track, stay with the quarterback's loud voice. So, yeah, I think early on that might have been a factor. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to address in practice on Monday? Well, we'll certainly wait and hear from the head coach first and what Coach Ains will have his ideal on some things that we want to continue to move forward on, and we'll take his lead and go from there. Uh, you said, you know, you, you're going to look at the tape, see any positives. Um, How would you feel about the special teams today? You know, we probably punt it more than we'd like to, all right, but there's some things that you're going to learn about your team within that. So, again, how we lined up, what was the rush that they had against us, and that kind of works itself across the board, whether you're punting, receiving the punt, kickoff and kickoff return. All those, again, we've got different coaches within the staff that take a lead in that. And I'm sure, again, uh, we all got to go back to the tape and say that's what we utilize because that's the eye in the sky that always tells us the truth. And that's what we'll kind of evaluate once we get back. Uh, over the recent years, uh, there's been some key injuries. Are you worried at all about Holly's workload running the ball? Say that again, I'm sorry. Uh, there's been key injuries over the past few years. Are you worried at all about Holly's workload running the ball, taking those hits? No, I think game of football is a game of football. If there's one thing about Nick Holly that we all know, he's one of the most fierce competitors that we have. So, you know, the game is played physical, and you just got to keep rolling. Uh, after a loss like this, is there any guy in particular that you go to in the locker room to pick the team up? No, we had two captains, you know, today, uh, Matt Barr and Will Matthews, and I think they were very good at moving forward and sharing with things that we needed to share with our team before the game, during the game, and post game. Two players on defense have made some off-season adjustments. Quan Robinson, corner to safety, Matt Barr, safety to linebacker. They both made some plays today. Does that kind of reaffirm that you've got those guys in the right spot? Well, I'm sure defense could, you know, address that even more clearly than I could being an offensive guy. But those, it's attributed to those guys to have put themselves in a position that the coaches could say, hey, look, you can serve a multi-use and let's take a look at you here. Maybe it's not where you were last year, but they've responded very well. And so we're pleased with the transition that they've made.